right to whoever to write and say, I need this information. And this is how it was printed to you? I can answer you, Chris. <laughs> if, 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 as Haggai would have to write, but now you are the, uh, the your official uh, head of communication at parliament, so you don't have to write to anyone. You have this information. It's, I would be writing to you. Now I'm asking you here because you have said that the data that has been presented is wrong. I don't think it would be too much to ask you to to show us that Haggai has posted this or Agatha has posted this. This is the truth. It would be in the spirit of uh, uh, assuring transparency and accountability in the application of public funds, as it's stated in your functions here as parliament. And, and in a public service, the need to know is more important. Public service is not journalism. We must accept that. Otherwise, there would be no need for institutions. Institutions have methods legislated on how they operate. That's why the Auditor General does not give this report anywhere else before staff meeting to the person who needs to know first. So that one we can, we can, we can agree. Two, Honorable Woodikis, I got her when she was elaborating on how audit is done. I have actually the management letter she was talking about of June of July 19th to June 2023, which culminated into the Auditor General's report that the issues that the Auditor General raised were actually submitted to Auditor General by the clerk to Parliament. I have it. So it is not. It may not be true to imagine that there was no giving back and false information to whoever needed it. And I told you today, even I told the monitor, because I am not going to accuse the media on how they do their things. I told the monitor that even auditors make mistakes. That they did not choose that comment to what they are putting in the story is that the editorial of freedom. And true to what I told the monitor, the auditor general has acknowledged that the report, the, the report that was written had errors because the, manage, the information provided by parliament, which is verifiable, is in their custody. But I am not going to ask you that let the auditor general send you the report. That's not how institutions operate. But by and large, and I will, I will, I will speak with the confidence that the exhibition is being hijacked to target the person of Anita Among. Fortunate, for, fortunately, fortunately for us, uh, for us, Chris, there are several people here, Ugandans here. Uh, it, it, it cannot be that each and every Ugandan has conspired to target the speaker. We will see, we will hear from them what, what no, they no, think. No. For, for, for me, for me the, okay. the, the question I wanted to know, and you, you are a, a senior journalist, um, you sought public information, you, we know that See, we will hear if you, if you, what they, for, if you, if you claim, uh, if you claim that something is wrong, it is up to you to state the correct record. You, you that's cannot, that's you cannot claim that then you need special permission. Okay. I think Chris okay. there, we would okay. not be, uh, we would not be being honest, okay. but, but I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you the mic uh, later on to, uh, okay. to make, okay. to make okay. comments. Micah. If I gave the mic away, you even even from this hosting, you can be able to tell whom you want to talk more and whom you want to talk less. But that's not a material matter now. If I told you now that we also know, Haggai, on record we know, but we cannot come out to speak, that this campaign is not an innocent campaign for accountability. We know, for instance, that a certain embassy has given you contacts, the number that is being used for circulating all this registered by an embassy, we know. Now, as a matter no, of fact. Now, 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 Chris, you are really, you are, you are, that since, since Anita Mong passed the homosexuality bill, the effort has been to bring her down. What can you use? How she's using the parliament budget? Chris, a Chris, budget you are, you, you, you are really abusing the uh, intelligence of, of Ugandans. I mean, we invited no, you, we invited you to comment, for, we invited you to comment about, we invited you, Chris, you have a platform online where you can raise, 
this if you feel that this exhibition entire exhibition is about you can post this but now there are a number of ugandans who would like to hear from you they've been exhibiting they've been raising concerns they would like to hear from you and and yes yes it's intentional to ask you questions again and again because other people are commenting a lot of the questions a lot of the information people are yearning for for is from parliament that's why I was asking you to state the record clear. But rather okay. than do that very simple task, Chris, no, you, are, no. you are going into uh, 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 all okay. sorts of things. And, and you may okay. have it, you may have these things on, uh, on, uh, on record or you may have them from sources that you have. You have a platform. There's a time for everything, Chris. Now, uh, okay. the, the subject is Uganda Parliament Exhibition. How do okay. we make Uganda Parliament okay. accountable? There are specific questions, there are specific concerns people have raised, Chris. Please address them. Then after, the, after you have addressed them, you, you, you can, you can uh, say all these other things. Um, uh, thanks, guys. I, I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Chemonges. You've been, uh, you've been uh, doing the amazing job of, you know... Um, a reporting about some of the work that parliament does what what stands out for you uh, from this exhibition um, the data that has been published how have you processed it what do you make of uh, uh, comments by uh, our friend Chris Obore so th thank you so much Akai um so what stands out for me really is the continuous um, demand, but also interest by the public to continue engaging, but also getting interested in the governance. And the questions that are being raised um, online, I think that uh, it wouldn't be right for us to dismiss, uh, to dismiss them. Um, th there are quite a number of very valid uh, concerns that the country is raising. And um, I think the fair thing is to provide a very clear response on the same. Uh, objectivity is clear, and, 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 and in, in, in the course of this, there, there, there are a lot of distractions, um, and it's good that um, even amidst the distractions, um, the focus is still very clear that um, as a people, we, we are demanding for accountability. There are these specific issues, uh, and, and, and this, uh, and it's good, Chris, I like them, shouldn't be a, a, a personal issues. These are matters of the public, and at the end of the day, the supreme, um, the supreme still remains with, with the people as the law provides. And so the continued engagement, but also the, the continued understanding by the public to appreciate that we have the mandate and we can hold the citizen, the, the, the leadership accountable. Definitely it's true that uh, some of the concerns, and amid this, because it's, it's, a, it's a public plethora where you have... Um, different individuals shooting on all sides and clearly th there could be individuals maybe here and there that could be going uh, to, the, to the to the to the personality of the speaker which may be unfortunate